politics. Education. Entertainment and culture. Historicals. Fun and development. Don't miss home documentaries with me, David Livingstone Eseru, right here on YouTube. Just weeks after the school's return to action for the first term of academic year 2023, a light of kindness and goodwill from England shows up at Ngora Parents Secondary School. A team led by Andrew Third, a board member in the Teso Development Trust, traveled over the seas all the way from London with two ladies, Louis Third and Kamal Dimple, to see and appreciate their organization's funded projects. On arrival, Mze Pafras Olupot and the head teacher, Mora Parents Secondary School, led the visitors around the school to see the buildings that were constructed using the funding from the Teso Development Trust. The team joins the students in the newly constructed main hall for an interaction, which begins with the Uganda national anthem, followed by the East African anthem, led by the school's patriotism club, and subsequently a prayer led by the scripture union. wisdom and knowledge in the mighty name of God the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace, May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. school's head teacher Ben Omutia gives a heartfelt message highlighting how far the Teso Development Trust has brought the school. Papa has contributed a lot for the, towards the development of this school. He connected us to our dear friends from England and they have helped us a lot. They are the ones who built this main hall. They also built a girls' dormitory. They also built a, a two-classroom block plus a staff, a staff room. They have contributed, contributed greatly. Before I even came here, I got information that they are the ones who connected us power, electricity. They also connected us uh, water. They provided us with the lab equipment. So it, they have done a great, uh, a great work in this school. Not only that, but they also used to, used to support 25 girls, sponsoring them to study here. So they have been. Without forgetting Toto Lima, 
she is very she is a potential in this school in such a manner that she is the one who connected our visitors to our parents so she is also a very important person in this school she also served as a, she has served as a board member for some good period of time not until yes not until a conflict arose in this school that's when she decided first of all to move back because for her she does not want conflict in any way so may we give her a very great hand clap our dear visitors the school is still existing i'm very happy that you have come today i used to always remember how you used to come and share with us here and i would say if our dear vis our dear friends would still come back to this school but god has had our prayer even for the corporation to pray in the same way. so you are most welcome to mora parents secondary school thank you for the contributions that you have given to us god must grant you a lot of uh, let me say a lot of wisdom and love such that we can continue relating together we are so much happy to me i cannot even ex express my happiness because i know who you are the help that you have given to us is more than just being a father to us but you have done very great job to this school for this school to stand like this without you the school would not be like this and i was almost shedding tears when they told us that uh, we have been cut off from our friends i said now what are we going to do because whatever is glittering here is from them are we really going to survive well <laughs> but i said it's only god who knows and it's his own timing yes his own timing but the time has come for you to come back thank you uh, I, i want to say that thank you to god who has given you that uh, heart really you have a very good heart towards us you really love our parents as you have already said this is your second home i remember when uh, we call uh, we, i can call him papa dixon when he used to come here i used to say that this is my second home for sure i've seen this, this is your second home what a parent so you are so much welcome you are most welcome however even in your absence the school existed because of what you had already planted you had already put a very good base such like that the school was not could not stagger so much at least it is continued surviving with all the challenges it went through so the conflict that came in interfered with everything including covid itself made us to separate a bit because i know that by the time covid came in at least you had hope of coming to see the school that was said to would have gone into uh, maybe would have collapsed but the school continued to exist up to now that school Uh, was there so what happens is here you have also seen that the school is existing thank you so much so we have also had challenges on the same note ariongate margaret lima one of the initial board members had this to say about the visitors and the school i want to thank the teacher and to thank all of you students because these three teams have worked very hard to see that the school is continuing and uh, we still have this school in uh, in a map so i'm so grateful uh it's a bit uh, emotional to say much about this school but i'm so glad and as 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 the head teacher said we have prayed and prayed and prayed that this school goes back to normal which has happened and our friends are going to come to visit us i would say it is only one girl who has done very well but i would say all of you are working very very hard i 
And I also want to say the credit also goes to your teachers and the head teacher and the whole administration for what they are doing right now in this school. To my friends, it is a bit emotional to speak. I've been in this school for a very long time. I've seen ups and downs. I've seen wars of the school, but only praying that God will take over and make this work again. Because if you are in a place like a school, more parents, you are not here to gain. You are here to develop so that those who come after you will also develop and then others will also follow. That's the intention of this school. But I'm sorry it happened that things had to change a little bit, but they are back to normal. So to my dear friends, your coming has been a special time to us. It has been a special day and a bit emotional because some time back we didn't have hope that you'd be coming back. You got a lot of noises, you got a lot of messages, you got a lot of all kinds of discouraging things that in more parent school is no more. But today, the devil is ashamed. Today, the devil is not going to continue. And from the visiting team, Andrew Third takes the lead in communication as he introduces the rest of the visitors and discusses the purpose of their visit to Mora Parents Secondary School. So Mother Preferous has uh, said that uh, coming here is coming home for us, and he's quite right. It was to Nora and to the Nora Parents School that uh, Louise and I came uh, when we first came to Uganda in 2010. Uh, so it, it, this place is very much in our hearts. This school is very much in our hearts. I'll come back to the story of the relationship between us our friends and our church and this school in a minute. But first I better uh, explain to you why we are here uh, in Uganda at this time. Uh, we are here as a team from the uh, Tesso Development Trust, uh, which is a charity on which Clement Dixon was sec secretary. I'm on the committee of it. Uh, Louise is my wife and Carmel is the administrator of the Tesso Development Trust. And we are travelling around Tesso visiting the partners and the projects uh, that we have in Tesso. Uh, this is the weekend. We are coming to stay at Margaret Lima's uh, for a bit of rest. But we couldn't come here without visiting the school, visiting our second home. Without having a look and seeing how you are progressing, how you are recovering from COVID and the difficulties we know that the school has had. And it's a joy to see so many of you here. It's a joy to see how well you're doing academically and to see how the school is now thriving again. The school is on the up. <laughs> Let's give a little shape to uh, what's going to happen now because these two aren't going to get away without talking. <laughs> <laughs> so I w I w I'm going to reminisce a bit because now I'm an old man like Muzzy Prapras, I can reminisce. Um, after that, I will uh, ask Carmel to tell you a bit more about the Tesso Development Trust, how it started, what its work is now, uh, and the sort of things that we do.
Louise, after that, uh, will bring greetings uh, from our church, from Honor and Clement. Uh, she'll tell you a little bit more about us personally, who we are, what our, our normal life is when we're not out here uh, in Uganda, and she will uh, bring some closing encouragement to the school uh, to finish. I need to open a bottle of water. <laughs> I like the way he talked about his 10-year plan. How many of you have got a 10-year plan? <laughs> and that he has that 10-year plan because he has a heart for God. He has a 10-year plan because God says, I want to use you. I don't want you to sit there and do nothing. And God has put this plan in his head and given him the task of seeing that plan through. And this school is a testament to the way that this man loves God and the way that God has used this man to help this community. And I say it's also a story of friendship because I think that a, a very core and important thing in this uh, story is the, the friendship that has formed between Honor and Clement and Dixon and Muzipaphras. They came to know each other as brothers and sisters in Christ, they came to like each other, they came, became friends and trusted each other. And it's on that rock that so much of the work of this school and building this school has been based. Because life isn't about things, it isn't about work, it isn't about your job. Life is all about relationships. It's about your relationship with God and it's your, about your relationships with other people. The friendships that you make will build the person that you are. And as somebody who is a lot older than you, I can tell you that the friendships that you make at school are some of the most important friendships of your life. Because those are the people that you will come to trust in and rely on as you go through your life. And you'll look back and you'll say, who have been the most important people in my life? And very often, it's your school friends. So pick your school friends carefully. <laughs> you will need them in the future. So I, I first uh, came to hear about the school here from Honor and Clement and Dixon. Uh, Dixon. We are members of the same church uh, in a place called Ruddington. Uh, which is right in the centre of England. It's well away from the coast. Uh, it's near a, near a place called Nottingham that you may have heard of. Uh, that's the nearest city. Uh, it's uh, the home of Nottingham Forest Football Club. Yes. <laughs> that's what it's best known for. Um, so our church is not a large church. It's about 100, 120 people. But suddenly... Uh, Honor and Clement Dixon came back from what we thought was holiday and they started talking about this school. They started talking about these people they'd met. They came, started talking about Muzi Paspras and the vision he had for this school and how he and the parents of this community had actually started trying to do, form a school for the education of those who normally wouldn't be able to afford a secondary education. And they became advocates. They became advocates for this school in our church. And what they were asking people to do was to start raising money. And they worked extremely hard running all sorts of events to raise money by asking people to start giving regularly and by convincing the church to give from its own tithe to this school. And slowly, uh, little by little, the sums of money which were being collected uh, increased and began to help the work in this school and this place. So as I say, we're talking about a friendship here. And Honor and Clement came back many times you will have heard their names mentioned here many times. And I'm sure you've all diligently read the foundation stone on this hall 
which says it was opened by Mr. and Mrs. Clement Dixon in 2007, or the foundation stone was laid. And this hall, this hall is very much a pride and joy of the work that they did with this school and with Musopraphras. I still think this is the finest school hall in Tesso. As you can imagine in our work, we go around a lot of schools, but none of them have a hall like this. And this is a So as you can see that I've, uh, I've talked uh, about uh, many years of connection here and I haven't even mentioned Louise and myself at, at all. Because as I say, Louise and I only really came out in 2010 when this hall had been finished and many of the other works on this school uh, were well underway. So Muzipaphras very kindly calls us his friends and tributes all this work uh, to our involvement but really the work started with Honour and Clement Dixon uh, and has been pursued by them. Louise and I in particular are bit part players in this story. So we came out in 2010. Why did we come out in 2010? Because Honour and Clement Dixon said to us, have you ever thought of going to Uganda? And because our girls have been having uh, good holidays themselves and we've never really been abroad very much, we said, yes, we'll come to Uganda with you. And that was the start of our engagement with the people of Tesso and with the people of Nora and the school in particular. So we have, we've joined the story, if you like, of, of Honour and Clement. Uh, and St. Peter's Ruddington. Uh, and we are thrilled to see the way that this school has established itself. Yes, I recognise it's had difficult days in recent times, but the important thing here is that you have the infrastructure. You've got the buildings you need. Some of them need um, a lick of paint and of clearing <coughs> out, but the buildings are here, this hall is here, the classrooms are here, you've got good quality teachers here who are, can provide really high quality education. So I'm expecting this school now, particularly as Mother Epaphras is back uh, leading the school, to really thrive from this point on because you have everything here you need to be an excellent school and to grow to a significant school <coughs> in this region. So I think that's probably all that I need to say at this moment because I, I won't leave anything else for the others to say. But uh, probably I should just uh, reflect then. Two important things. Faith, because everything is about God. You know, God is in everything. God enables everything. We can work and strive and try really hard. But if God isn't guiding our hands, if God isn't, um, showing us the pathway forward, then everything we do is pointless. And the other thing is friendship. Life is about relationships. Life is about working with other people, helping each other, pe helping other people, ensuring that your relationships with everybody is, is good. Don't take anybody for granted. You know, it's easy to say, oh, that person's not really important, I won't bother with a relationship with them. For you, explore a relationship with that person that you think isn't important, and I will guarantee there's always something they can teach you. There's always something you can learn from a person that you don't think is very important. So always give your love to the people around you, and dwell in God's love, and seek the path that he's looking for you to follow. Thank you. Then, tracking from Andrew Thad's communication, Kamal Dipo comes with an administrative narrative of the TESO Development Trust and encourages the school to continue doing great work. My name is Carmel, um, and I have been working with the TESO Development Trust for about five or six years. This is my third visit to Uganda with them. Um, <laughs> 
I think the thing that I can say mostly about Tesso Development Trust is it is an organisation that was set up by people who love Tesso, not just in England but also in Uganda. Mm -hmm. Through that love for the Iteso people that the uh, organisation has carried on and continues to carry on. Um, and so we only work in this area of Uganda. There's nowhere else in Uganda or in the world that we work. Um, and we have some projects in Kumi and Soroti and the surrounding areas. Um, obviously there is the school, there are a few other schools. Um, we have done some work with the hospital <laughs> over the road and um, at the hospital in Kumi um, and some projects with water and with farming. There's a lot, there's a lot of little projects we've done but um, as someone who's come out for the last three times I can say that one of the things that I really appreciate seeing is when you give someone something small and they grow something big with it. Um, it's yeah, it's not always just what we can give, but it's what you can do with what we give you that is um, really, it's really pleasing to see. Um, so I would just say, and it, again, as um, <laughs> when we give you something and you do what we told you or you do what you say you're going to do with it, again, it's very good to see. Um, but so I would just say to you to carry on doing the good work and to keep being trustworthy and good partners for us. <laughs> then so interesting was Lois Thad's message as she brings regards from England and a word of encouragement to the school. Well, it falls to me to be, I think, the last speaker of the day, uh, I might be the one you remember most, I don't know. <laughs> but let me take you, let me take you many hundreds of miles away to that amazing island called the United Kingdom. We are still just about united. We're from England and I want to send you enormous greetings and love and particularly God's love from all your brothers and sisters uh, in the England that we know, which is, as Andrew said, uh, St. Peter's Church in Reddington, and of course Carmel lives in a place called Leamington Spa. So we have come a long way from a country that one day I hope you may come to visit. <laughs> we, we too have children. Uh, Carmel has a seven-year-old son uh, called Jesse, and she's left her son with her mother. So we have also left our uh, wider family behind. Andrew and I are a little bit older than we were when we first came here. Uh, yes, he's got a beard. I think I'm looking younger than I, I was ten years ago. Uh, we have two daughters. One called Rachel, who is 33, and she has just had a little boy called Lewis. And Lewis is now five months old. Now, I had a problem, because I wasn't sure I was ready to be a granny just yet. <laughs> and I've been juggling all sorts of names for myself until yesterday. When I was sitting in the bus, with two lovely ladies from the Mother's Union who said, but Louise, you're Tata. You're Tata Louise. You're actually now Grandma Louise Tata. So the Ugandan name comes with me. So we bring greetings from England very much uh, from all that we know, all those who love us. By daytime, of Carmel is working uh, for the, the charity. Andrew is now retired because he really is a very old man. <laughs> I haven't retired. I still run a business. Uh, in fact, I run a public relations company. And I, and I was just chatting to the lovely journalist here who's taking my picture all about how journalists and, and, and public relations people work together. So I will continue to run my business for about another two or three years then I might be free to come back to Uganda, maybe more. <laughs> but now to draw things 
to a close because I don't know about you, but it's probably lunchtime for most of us. And we don't want to keep you from whatever you're doing on your Saturday lunchtimes and afternoons. I'm really struck, uh, Papa Preferas, because you are somebody who I never ever want to lose touch with. You are somebody who has reminded us what life is, is really about, the long road, the long journey. But I think that Pafras has just started his journey. <laughs> I love the fact, and I want you to imagine um, this lovely vision that he has given us, how when he sleeps at night in his accommodation, he can see the stars, he can see the sky, the universe, the infinite possibilities. So when you look up into the sky, I want you to imagine that life is eternal, it is infinite. The possibilities you have with this education will be enormous. But I also want to draw attention to this compass because, because the stars also guide us, don't they? You can actually go anywhere around the world if you follow the stars. But equally, Paphras has his compass here. So I hope that that God will be your compass, the Bible will be your guide, your friends who Andrew's also mentioned, choose them carefully because they will guide you too. But above all, just enjoy life. Enjoy life. And there's a little verse in Colossians which says, whatever you do, whatever you do, do it with all of your heart. Thank you. As a lead board member, Pafres Olupot gives an overview of the future of the school. He says he will start from the point at which the school is at the moment where he also discusses his next steps towards the development of the school. <laughs> Kope na tayi kipiti, achalani, aite mno kini duo motoka na, brick laying, arabo carpentry. Apo lo kwa danga inerani kini sana kina. Ado sema gea ringun, anyara na uria kalo senior one, anyara na uria kalo senior two, ase tayi moja na kirotongi, tete ripe dori, ana kini wengine na aiso mau. Na ara edo mtu duo lose skills, eja yenge na owe jana elapa lo e tomontari. É perigo de uma maneira que é perigo de alguma maneira que se está bom. E que aí que põe aí que põe o tema. E que aí tem uma ideia que fica para a moto cá. E que aí 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 que o nome de longo. Por um lugar que era quando isso mais só só por tudo mais o que ele é. Hard work, arai. Home hand crafts. A gente do aí que a um aí aí que borou o que o aí que fui borou o que pois para ir a um outro caminho. No mesmo caminho do ele 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 foi genete. Que saco todo mundo do ele. Agia uno sini ya o sini ya wana kile sini ya tu o karo alopa alo agia raso mumi tetere tu somai taki tekani o ingaren ene mami kina arde mna dusti ingaren tu somai donge te skill isumpongo so anua anguno ebunyo somo laro le gita kina kere ido ichi le pera kita kini kita isomo isomo skill isumpongo pera kita somo a ingi toke chida na no ingaren pera ingi toke mau skill isike chumpongo konya kuna jumani we pote no to relieve. Aurea kada ya poai, nare maniko kuda ya poai. Amuno nga kakira disu ni eja sumumu. Konya kiro no, esumero, ebune sumera lo siki nga ren. Amuno nga yataki ni tulobi ni eja yi, eja si LOC siluwa ibo isi ana, LOC series, LOC five. Itu nga kere community, emoru kisaka ni. Osi di sena kena kada, emoru kisaka ni keda asyo. Apulo kebe, ara ede eja anu eti oko, ibuna emoru ni pepa suda iti moki. Akira au duicho tomokal, ibo kinesi tu mato mokal, apolo kibi timo kinesi akira. Mama ngakoto akira no abekoi. Thank you for watching. I am David Livingstone Seru. Please remember to subscribe. How are you, Mister? You are only one.
for your love to our school and receive thanks for your support today. Give something more and Uganda as well. For we are so grateful for your support to our school and receive thanks for your support today. Keep serving our and Uganda as well. It's such a colorful and wonderful day that we have seen you here. We have been hearing rumors and stories concerning you, making students peep and see their way, reducing those who stumble and fall, opening the minds of young Ugandans. Oh, Mara parents, a crystal of diamonds shining in many stones, shining treasures and unique among them. Those who choose you makes a bright future. Oh, the blind don't see you. The deaf don't hear your voice. The careless ones bypass you. Ill, they are too unfortunate. Oh, my parents, excellent success you provide. Though we are delighted and grateful for your country, we have been like offers. No one. My name is Ubisn, and my name is Ubisn, my name is Ubisn, and my name is Ubisn. In this world, that's a me mulema, I'm praying that the Lord of Jesus God, may you come and cheer upon us, may you come and read up, may you come and read upon us, in our school, Lord, oh my sick of my God, oh Jesus, my Lord, oh Jesus, my Lord. You are the God of your only God, as my Lord, oh my sick of my Lord, oh my sick of God. May you be with us, O Lord, in our school, O Lord, oh my dear God, my Lord, I say that Jesus, oh my Lord, you are the only God for us. In this world, my name, my name is Jesus, my name is Jesus, my name is Jesus. In this world, may you come and guide upon us, may you come and lead upon us in your eyes. Jesus, you are my Savior. Jesus, you are my Savior. The one who would die for us. In this world, I said that Jesus Christ, oh, my brother, my sister, oh, Jesus Christ is our Savior, oh, my brother, my sister, oh, Jesus Christ is our Savior. Let me say that, Jesus, you are my Savior, Jesus, you are my Savior. Thank <laughs> you.